Hello everyone and welcome to the freebie free guide I'm going to be doing on Arresto Droids. So first I'll be going through the talents and what to do gameplay wise and then I'll be showing a few clips of me in actual arena showing the stuff off. So most of this will work between about 1.5 to 2k but above that most of it won't be needed and you'd have to use your own kind of stuff but who knows it might work above 2k but me personally I've done this up to 2k and I've seen it work quite well. But obviously when you get up higher people are much more aware and yeah. We'll get into the talents. So first off with normal talents, what I like to do is take uh, scenario ward. Just the fact that if you know one of your, your teammates is gonna get focused, so either if it's you or if it's any of the others, you can just quickly put a ward on them and it's just the extra hot which can be on them. And especially if you're up against anything which you can steal spells. and you get the extra movement speed. So next, um, you always want to take Guardian Affinity here, just for the fact that as soon as you get focused, you can quickly go bear form, and you can frenzied regeneration yourself. Once you've got uh, two frenzied regenerations on yourself, you're more than likely not going to die. And obviously when you're in bear form, you take and reduce damage anyway, and yeah, it's really, really good. Uh, next, what you want to be taking is Mighty Bash. The reason you want to be taking Bash is for the fact that it will time very well with Cyclone, which is going to be the so that when you're playing, you can quickly, you know, bash your target if it's for, if there's the CDs and clone it. I'm just going to quickly show a clip of a an arena, free fairy and it will show off how to correctly use your bash and clone and how I used it in that game. So I'm going to show that now. So we will show the So now on to the next talent, what you want to be taking is Incantry and Germination. The reason you want to be taking Tree is just for the fact that when a comp both use their CDs, one like the Freeze, your opponent is going to be using their offensive cooldowns at the same time, so they can try and line up a kill. So when you see that happen, you know, when you see a Monk pop Serenity or something like that, just instantly, you know, Tree and Trank. Tree and Trank come off around about the same cooldown so you kind of use them in conjunction so as soon as you get tree you can use trank and obviously with germination once you come out of tree you can just double rejuve everything so what you usually want to be doing before you get into a fight is try and double rejuve as many targets as possible if this if you're trying to save a lot of mana use uh, innovate before you do this so that you can double rejuve all of your targets for free and you're not losing any mana and the last talent you want to take is stone bark the reason you want to take stone bark is that when you use Ironbark on one of your, you know, one of your friendly targets who's getting focused, all your hots in that target will be healing even more. So that when you place a Snarium Ward on the target, when you place Life Bloom, both your Rejuves and Regrowth, Wild Growth, they just aren't going to be dying, because especially with the Ironbark, healing over time effects increase by 20%, which is just really, really good. And it reduces the cooldown on it, so you're going to get it more. And you can kind of use it, like, at the start of the fight, because especially in Freeze, you come up against a lot of double uh, melee comps, burst comps, and you can just Next on talents, what you want to be taking is medallion. It's kind of down to you, but I always like taking medallion just so I can control when I'm using and coming out of CC. 
Most Relentless is a bit RNG, and you've got to hope that they use CC at certain times. Next, what you want to take is Defender of the Week. A few people take Vim, but I just don't see the use in it, because more than likely, most of the time, you're going to get gonna get, gonna get targeted. So I always take Defender of the Week, just so that when someone gets low, you can just quickly, you know, you get the haste, so all your hots are healing even more. Next talent you want to take is Druid of the Claw, just for the fact that you as a healer are more than likely going to be the focus target, or you're going to get some damage going on to you. So if you get in focus, just quickly go into bear form. And... Um, when you go into bear form, you have a 10% chance to cast Rejuve, so more than likely, if you go into bear form, you're getting a free Rejuve, and you're getting um, your Frenzy Regeneration, so you're just literally not going to die when you go into bear form. And next, I've already shown why to take Clone. The next one is, um, you know, another thing which is down to whatever comp you come up against. So I'll be shown a gameplay where Revitalize is good, so Revitalize is good, really good against double melee, because obviously if you read it, Revitalize will heal the target for Obviously when you use um, Germination, your Rejuves are always going to be up, so they're always going to have two stacks of Revitalize, so they're always going to be healed when they get hit by melee attacks. So now I'll quickly show a, again, a comp I went up against and why Revitalize was really good. So I'll quickly show that now. i quickly show how good Revitalize is against a um, Fury and Windwalker Monk. So since they're both melee, they're going to be dealing big damage to my team. So I'm just going to quickly hot everyone up. But life bloom on myself, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna attack first. Just go give it a three juice. Maybe don't double rejuve because you want to save mana, but yeah. Okay, he's going in on them. I'm gonna get ready to use Iron Bark on him. I'm just gonna stun this one now. That's really bad me. I'm just gonna use Essence here. gameplay you can see that uh, Revitalize is obviously better against melee comps, but if you're coming up against a, a class which can spell steal, for example a mage, a priest, anything like that, you want to be taking Nourish, because they're more than likely um, going to be spell stealing your hots, and if they do spell steal your hots, you can quickly use um, Healing Touch and you'll get one of them back. Another thing that you may want to take into consideration if you come against a lot of casters, say like a Priest, a mage, something like that, you're someone you know are guaranteed are going to spell steal, and it might be worth taking abundance. For the fact that if you have three targets in your arena and you double three them, your abundance is going to be really, really high. And that means that your healing touches are going to be quicker. So if the target to spell steal loads, and you always have one hot which isn't up, Norrish is really, really good because you can just quickly heal and touch. Because abundance, when you reduce a target, your cast time of healing touch is reduced. So you can see now I've got six. So how quickly healing touch is healed, and that's just giving you an instant hop. So if the mage spell steals, just healing touch, instant hop back up. So then you're just countering their spell. So I'll quickly show a gameplay where that happened with uh, a spell spell cast. 
game I'll be up, coming up against a, uh, a mage and a druid casters. So because it's a mage, I'm going to be taking abundance and nourish because it's more than likely, he's more than likely going to spell steal. So my um, hot and since okay, so you got me. just going to double hot everyone up. So I'm sat now. Just get ready to maybe bark skin. So I'm close now. So they did. They messed up their CC there because. Um, Stun the druid. I'm gonna get ready to line up a clone, so I'm full cloning now. I'm gonna just innovate and then hot everyone up. Just hot everyone, so he's already used Ice Block already. I'm gonna put Iron Buck on the uh, Warlock Buck out of this mommy. I'm just gonna watch out just in case the druid is close. So I'm just gonna Iron Buck him now. I'm gonna move down the line of sight so that the Cloned him full there. I'm just going to hot up the uh, Warlock and get ready to clone the Druid again. Just going to clone the Druid now, he stunned me. So he's probably going to clone me now as well. It's a really good fear by the uh, Warlock. So I'm just going to use this. Quickly clone the Rogue. Just hot everyone up. Life put him down, use. And get ready to stun the Druid. Once the Druid comes around the corner, stun him. Going to get ready to clone him fully. I'm just going to use a tree here just so that everyone survives. And put down my trank just so that we know everyone survives. Frozen. I'm just going to hot everyone up, regroup everything. Just make sure we survive. I'm going to put down Vortex so that they will fly back out. I'm going to go into bear form. So I'm stunned. I'm going to get ready to come out and use all my friends. Really nice by my team there, so I was sitting in there for but since they had so much pressure come out. I'm just gonna get ready to stun the healer. Clone him actually. Okay, so the group's going on. I'm just gonna get ready to clone him. So he's feared and quick clone. Clone full. Put iron bark on myself. And that's a really good example of why taking a, uh, abundance and nourish there's really good. Because nourish is really really good against a spell stealing mage. And obviously with Abundance, my healing touch is going to be healing even quicker and obviously with Nourish it's going to be really, really good. But yeah, that's a good example of the Nourish. And finally, for your last talent, what you want to take is Focus Growth. Due to the fact that you're always going to have Life Bloom on a target for the fact that Life Bloom is going to be giving you clear casting. You quickly go to it. Uh, you're healing over time. Life Bloom has a 4 chance to cause a clear casting state, making your next regrowth cost no matter. So you always want to keep up your life bloom at all the times and especially because focus growth reduces the mana cost of your life bloom by 60% and your life bloom always applies focus growth so you can just make sure that you've always got life bloom up and it's just really really good for you so that's it for the free guide uh, make sure you look out